What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at Leaklo problem number 1068, product sales analysis 1. Marked as easy, let's get into it. So we have a table called sales, which includes sale ID, product ID, year, quantity, and price, and it contains sales information. All of these are integers, so just normal full numbers. And we have a table called product, which includes product ID and name, which is pretty much a lookup table to get the product name for product ID. And that's part of our task because our task is to write an SQL query that reports all product names of the products in the sales table along with their selling year and price. For example, we have these sales tables and product table. And our result table should be product name, year and price. So let's get into coding this up. So we're going to start off with a basic select statement selecting product name, year and price. Year is a little bit of a different highlighting here because it's also a keyword in terms of dates but we can ignore that for now because it should work either way if you want to be sure you can always put it in quotes and that should fix it if there's a problem anyways we're selecting that from sales and product because product name is only in product table and the other information is in sales table so we need to join it somehow and we're going to use a regular inner join just using the join keyword and then specifying what we want to join on. So we're going to write out sales join product on and that is our join condition. So which fields are we using to compare these tables? How do we bring that information together? By using product ID that is pretty much the only field that is in both tables so it makes sense to use that and then we can get the product name from the product table. As well pretty much when we're joining we're just combining the information of two tables by using a common identifier in this case product ID and we would get a big table just combining the fields of sales and product but we just want to um, select these three so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna specify that sales dot product ID should match product dot product ID all right and if we run that code we get an accepted output that's already it for that question it's a very easy basic one but good place to start and if we submit that that should also be accepted and I'm going to go through the other product sale product sales analysis problems on lead code so make sure you check them out as well and Stick around to the channel. See you all next time. Bye.